being here today. Excited, it's game week, it's finally here. Uh, feels like we've been waiting around for a long time to play, and uh, now that it's here, I know our players and our staff are really excited and looking forward to getting on the field Saturday. Uh, you know, I think this is one of those things where uh, we've gone through spring ball, we've gone through summer workouts, now we've gone through fall camp, and I think our guys are ready to hopefully play someone else and uh, get the opportunity to compete. So I know they're looking forward to that. I'd like to also announce our captains for this year. 2019 captains are going to be uh, our captains for the year. And it's four seniors that I think are very well deserving, guys that have been around here for a while, and guys that are uh, a big part of our, our team this year. On offense, we'll have uh, senior Caleb Barker, our quarterback, obviously coming back from, uh, from an injury. And uh, I know he's excited to get back. And uh, a lot of times when you miss a year, miss a season, especially due to an injury or something, that you're very motivated. I, I've liked the way he's come back and with a lot of focus and trying to be a, one of the leaders on our team. Senior B.J. Smith, obviously one of our one of our running backs coming back that, that uh, we're going to lean on heavily and uh, will do a great has done a great job for us on and off the field as one of our leaders. Melvin Tyus is a safety that's from Montgomery that I think is very well deserving uh, as well, and uh, a guy that I know is excited to you know put the uniform on for one last season here at Troy. And then Jarvis Hayes, a senior that actually went through some off-season uh, uh, surgery and is back ready to go, excited to be here. And uh, so those are four guys that I think represent our program the right way. And I know I'm excited that they're going to be captains for us this year. And uh, obviously, we'll look to them for leadership. You know, this weekend we'll play Campbell University, who is an FCS program out of North Carolina that uh, really is, is really improving. If you look at their history, I think this is the third year they've been in scholarship football in the FCS, head, led by their head coach, Mike Minner, who is my age. So I remember growing up, he got played at Nebraska, was a really, really good player, played with the Carolina Panthers for a while. Um, I think he's doing a great job. You can see his uh, fingerprints all over the defense, I'm sure. And uh, I know they're a really up and coming program, and they got some good players. I think they're recruiting well now that they're on scholarships. When you look at their roster, their team, uh, the type of players that they're, they're getting there, I think they're doing an excellent job. Um, and I think they're a good-looking football team. And they're going to come in here excited to be here at Troy and play. And uh, our guys are going to have to meet that. And I, I feel like they will. And it should be a good football game Saturday. And excited to be here in the vet and uh, get this thing going, OK? All right, with that being said, we'll take any questions. Can you explain the uh, captain process? Is that something that you yeah. the coaches do or the players? No, our players vote on that. They voted on this. Uh, we have a leadership council that basically is the leaders of our team, and our, 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 our team votes on that. The coaches really, you know, I think when you're voted a captain too, it means that your teammates feel like you're worthy of being, you know, one of our leaders. And uh, our leadership council is a little bigger than our team captains, but uh, these are guys that received uh, votes from their, from their uh, teammates, and I think that's a great honor to have. I will keep that between us. Coach, uh, this is an exciting game because it's opening week, but also your first game as head coach. Yeah. What are the jitters you went through all of you know, spring and summer? But for you, what are the excitement level for you to take the field as the head well, coach? Well, it feels like it's taking forever to get here. You know, I lay down and go to sleep at night. I want to go to sleep so I get up. You know, when, once you're asleep, it feels like the, the night goes by quicker. But it's really exciting for me. This is the first place I got a chance to be a college football coach, Coach Blakeney. Uh, it's, it's in my home state. It's just a uh, really an honor to be the head coach, and I'm excited to lead our team on the field and uh, looking forward to watching them play and compete against somebody different. I think that's what I'm looking forward to. But obviously, I, I take a lot of pride in being the head coach here, and uh, this is a great university, and uh, looking forward to uh, bringing them through Trojan Walk and then you know, getting out on that field with them, running through the tee, and uh, getting this thing kicked off. Um, how has this week been in practice to prepare for the first game? Yeah, it's, you know, luckily when I open a game, you kind of can start a little earlier. So we've, we've been uh, working on Campbell for quite a, quite a bit here now. And, uh, you know, now we're on a normal game week, which we kind of did that schedule last week with a couple of exceptions and uh, get our guys used to what a game week is going to be like, you know, from a Sunday all the way through the next Saturday. Uh, obviously, today we'll go out and practice. We practice Sunday night. Uh, Monday's an off day for our players. And then we'll hit it the next four days and uh, be ready to go on Saturday. I asked you about jitters of your first game, but mm -hmm. Caleb coming back from the injury, what's the what's the confidence level been for him, obviously through summer and the fall camp, and now his first game back from the injury? You know, I think he's been really impressive. The way he's uh, 
you know, handled, you know, a new, a new coach, a new coordinator from that standpoint, a, a somewhat of a new offense, even though it's very similar, maybe some new terminology. He's handled himself very mature, very well. You know, he's kind of a mature kid, and I think uh, he's handled himself really well. I know he's excited to get back on the field and, uh, and, and, get, and get back going, but uh, he hasn't seemed very jitters to me at all. I think he's in a good spot mentally and uh, ready to get going. A lot of familiar names in that group up front. Mm -hmm. uh, four of the five were full-time starters mm -hmm. last year. Dylan is the new one. I wondered if you'd talk about him and, and how you've seen him progress a little bit at center. Yeah, I think the center position is extremely important for our offense. It makes all the calls and uh, sets the protection. Quarterback obviously has the, the, the right to override some of that, but he's got to do all the communication and who we're working to in the run game and the pass game and so forth. And I think Dylan's a smart football player, a guy that – that is uh, is kind of a uh, no nonsense, just kind of roll his sleeves up, go to work. You know, these old linemen they don't get a lot of a credit or, or a lot of blame. Only blame when it goes bad. You know, it doesn't seem like they get enough credit when we do well. So, uh, but that unit and Dylan's our center right now, and I think that unit the, is ready to have a big year. I mean, obviously we got some guys back that have played, and uh, they need to play well for us to have a chance to have a good season. Coach, you guys have a new turf. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you've had some time on it now. Is, yeah. is when these stadiums started getting that kind of turf, changing from grass, and I know it was a little bit of a change as far as maybe cleats or, or whatever right. change up. Right. Anything that you guys have to change with this turf, or is it the same? You know, the same, basically the same thing as the old one. No, I mean the turf. Our turf is uh, brand new, obviously, and uh, I think each year that these turf fields they. They're upgraded. I mean, they're better, they're made better, better quality. Um, I've been really pleased with, with the way ours turned out. We've been on it several times, probably going it today, obviously, with the rain and stuff. But um, I think our players really like it. It feels like it's uh, basically brand new. You know, the, the blades kind of stand up, which gives it a great look. But I think more important is it's really safe for our players, and I, they've enjoyed being on it so far for sure. Um, going into the first game, um, what are some of the defensive key players to look out for? On on our team? Yes. Yeah, so on our team, I mean, I think it starts with Jarvis and Melvin. Those are two of our captains. Uh, obviously, Jarvin being a, a defensive end bandit for us and then Melvin playing safety. Obviously, I think, you know, with the Will Cholo being a, being a young guy that's in the D-line that's got a chance to make a huge impact again for us, uh, he, he played really good last year. We're looking for him to take that next step. And then, you know, I think you got to talk about Carlton Marshall. He's a freshman All-American that uh, seems to make every tackle in practice. So I'm looking forward to hopefully he'll be tackling everybody else on Saturday besides us. Uh, but uh, I think those four guys right there kind of are guys. And, and we need Will Sunderland to have a big year for us. He's a senior. It's a defensive back corner. And uh, looking forward to, to watching him continue to grow. And he's made a lot of progress this fall. So ready to see him in a game as well.